How do you record your screen with Kafka? We have two ways to do it. One is through the website and the other is using the app we installed. So for this, we're going to begin with the website. The very first thing we need to do is to log in and then be here where all our projects are located and then click on create new and subsequently select the video format we want to create. In this case, it's this 16 to 9 format. Once it loads, we'll have to wait a few seconds for it to finish here. We're going to go here to where it says uh, media, which is this section right here. And in that section, this icon appears in the middle that says record. So we just click there. And here we choose the option we want, whether it's recording with a webcam that is with the camera recording this specific tab, recording the entire screen, or simply recording audio. In this case, we want to record the entire screen. So we select this uh, option and this will appear here. Here we simply choose it's incredibly important to allow complete access to the camera and microphone for proper functionality. So we click allow this time and now we have access. And once we set it up here, now we have to choose what we want to record. If you have multiple screens, they'll show up here. In this case, I'm only going to record screen number one, which is the one you're seeing. And if I want the audio to be included in the video, that is if I'm going to play, for example, a YouTube video or some audio or something like that, and I want it to be heard, you activate this option that says also share system audio, this one here, and then click share. And that's it. Everything will be set up. And now what we do here in case we want to turn on the camera is enable this option. Here we select the camera we want. And then for the microphone, we choose the microphone in case we have several. And finally, once we've set this up, we click here where it says record. Here it counts down three, two, one, and then it starts recording our screen. Once I click save and edit, it appears here so I can edit it directly on the CapCut timeline. What I can do is configure it. Look, this is where we switch tabs. If, for example, I don't want the whole beginning part to show, then I just trim it around here and only want the part where I switch tabs to appear. So I leave that part and also trim the ending. Well, I would also have to adjust the audio, but you just do that at the very same time and then you can arrange it and make all the necessary cuts. All right, that's the first way through the website. And the second way is through the app, which is also quite convenient. You simply install the app. And once you're here in this section where it says more tools, it might show up for you. And if it doesn't appear here, then you'll find it up here where it says screen recording in this area. Just click there and patiently wait for it to load. And as you can see, this useful option appears here, which is for recording the screen. So these options conveniently appear. If you want to turn on the camera, you simply select this. If you want to enable the microphone, you just click here. Once you set it up, for example, here you can choose the video size, determining how large you want the recording to be, whether you want to record the whole screen or just a part of it. For example, I wanted to record this section over here, this part right here. So I center it here and click start recording. And again, it counts down three, two, one, and I just simply wait. And now it's recording only that specific area. So if I, for example, click on something over here, that will clearly show up in the recording. Once I'm done recording, I just click stop recording here and it automatically appears for me. But in this case, it gives me more options. Here I can download it or I can convert it if I wanted to have some kind of audio. If I want for example, if I didn't use the microphone and I want to add a voiceover in the background, I can add it here. Or if I want to edit it directly, just like on CapCut's website, I just click here where it says edit more and it automatically opens the project for me. But here it's just the clip. And again, to edit it, as you can see, it, it recorded exactly the segment I said I wanted it to record. And this is how we record the screen. And if we want to export it, we simply export this video, save it as an MP4, and that's it. <laughs>